So sadly, it does seem like there are no bonus gift boxes every day in the mail. I was hoping for like five or ten of them, but it doesn't look like there are any. It was just a mistranslation on the WeChat, so I clarified that with the community management team and everything. But there's still a lot of good chances for you guys to get some good rewards this week. So we're going to break down how to get to mainly that Essence Sublimation Chest, because the Pay to Win Artifact is very easy to get to. Uh, so let's see what it actually takes uh, to get to the, the Essence Sublimation Chest, both free to play and probably spenders that are getting the relay, because the relay is a really good deal overall, I feel like. Uh, it's pretty much like the same price as if you just bought a $50 uh, Prism Starry Gem Package, but you're also getting all the other benefits from the relay, including dice, gems. Uh, I think there were even some cores of Transcendence in there. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Let's break down this event. <laughs> So this right here is the bread and butter that we're talking about this week because I think everybody just cares about getting to this right here. Now, one thing I did kind of go over very quickly in the actual news video is this is your chance of getting one core of origin chest. But what this means is you're only getting half of a core of origin. Don't grab this chest if you think this is going to be your first core on your account free to play. This only has 50 shards in it. You need 100 shards to get to a full art of, or full um, <laughs> core. So don't get it if you're thinking, I just don't want people to make a mistake like, Barry, I opened it and now I can't get it refunded from, from service. They're not gonna, they're not gonna help you. I'm sure they're not gonna help you. Make sure you know, only get this if you already have an accumulation of 50 shards somewhere else for a core because otherwise you're gonna be bad situation uh essence sublimation ninety thousand right here this is going to be the ultimate goal right here so how do we get to 150 points well before we even talk about the actual event i want to talk about the random rewards we're going to be pulling from this uh one clarification as well these universal crystal shards are not going to be in the random rewards what they're going to be are treasure train crystals uh that was a graphical error that they put out and they did confirm that uh yeah it should be this should be treasure train crystals not universal crystals but you'll notice there's actually some chances to get one three or five boxes by opening a box so you can kind of get a high roll and go into it a little further which is why we're going to break this down differently uh, again let's go over the couple methods of getting these number one is you can get 40 of these from just normal acquisitions from uh, the shelter mission, very straightforward. You can get an additional 30, 15 each for light and dark. Uh, you might want to do these based on how we break down this event to you. It might be something worthwhile to you. So again, keep that in mind. You might actually be doing this for once. And of course, the Soul Awakening Gala. The sad part about the Soul Awakening Gala here is that the way these tiers kind of break down, uh, it doesn't give you the right amount to do less than like a maximum amount of that. It's the way I'm going to explain it. It sucks because the, the thresholds you need to get certain rewards really, really suck. So what we're going to start with, uh, we're mainly just going to be talking about this 150 point mark right here, how to get this essence sublimation. So option number one. Oh, this is going to be interesting. And also remember over here, this each one of these costs 2,000 gems and 2 light fodder, 2,000 gems and 2 dark fodder. So it's very hard to get them. Plus with the Soul Awakening contract going on this week, uh, you're already going to have to be building 6 light and dark heroes into a 6 star. So just remember that. It's, it's going to be a lot of dark and light fodder you need this week. But let's talk about the gala portion of this. So the cheapest most minimum way to get to this chest here number one you're going to have to high roll 10 of these you're gonna to have to high roll 10 of these in the event for this way to work because really the way like i said the thresholds work it really sucks you're going to be doing a complete 70 and again everything's down in the description written out as well in case you guys don't follow along uh you're gonna need all of these here all of these which is 70 points which means you need to come away with 70 more points from this event um yeah that kind of sucks because you, well actually you need 60 uh because you get what 25 45 and this comes up to 70 points right here right yeah so you can't quite get to 80 which is what you need to pair with the 70 from the shelter mission uh which means if you only go to the 100 point mark and that's a roughly 18 awakenings that means you're going to have to pull like i said 10 extra boxes from the random rewards 
that is the gamble method that is not guaranteed the guaranteed way is to literally do the entire shelter mission um up through the regular four factions so you're going to get 40 of these from that right there uh, and you're going to purchase one of these light and dark ones again very important one of these light and dark is going to be needed because you're going to need 55 boxes from here and then you're going to have to get the full 100 boxes from this event which means you need to get to the 150 point mark which means you need to be spending somewhere in the 27 ish soul awakenings rank in case you wonder how we get to that 27 on average you get about 5.5 points 5.5 points yeah <laughs> there's a lot of points in there 5.5 points per soul awakening and so you just take the 150 divided by the one 5.5 you're roughly at around 27 soul awakening so normal shelter mission light one of the light and dark and then you need to come all the way down here because even if you got the full 70 from the event this only gives you an additional 70 and you're going to be 10 short and like i said the gamble method means you high roll the extra 10 here so it really just depends on what you get from your random pulls exactly what you need to do so yeah those are the kind of like two free to play methods if you are interested in how to get this b stone yes it is a solid b it is not a b minus so I, like i said in the news video there should be a good chance we see a lot of a minus hero copies hitting the auction house because it's like a three percent chance or something i think to hit an a minus or something uh i think think something like that i don't think it's lower than that. i think it's like three percent it's not too bad uh it's gonna cost you about 37 ish soul awakenings so just know if you're you're retiring hero copies getting more starry gems back sadly there's no retirement event attached to this one that would be absolutely amazing i hope we get another retirement event in the future for a soul awakening session that was absolutely amazing but the last method i want to talk about is for spenders uh the relay so let me go over this relay one more time here because i had the math breakdown uh the bottom one is 20 uh do, do, do. this one is 10 that's 30 bucks this one is 15 or sorry this one's 15 oh this is so funky so this one's 20 <laughs> This one's another 10, so that brings up uh, up to 30. This one right here is 15, so that's 45. And then it's like $2, $5, something like that. So you're spending about $55 on this relay. But what that $55 means is that you're basically getting 55 boxes. These guys up here, you're getting 55 of these just from spending vip and then on top of that you're getting 1700 contract sorry gems you're getting regular gems you're getting some cores and a bunch of dice so all those things are great this week and then on top of that uh you're also having the sole contract so you get like 2000 contract sorry gems this week if you go for the lucky relay this means it's very easy to accomplish then because if you're going for the relay package you're probably going to go for the 200 point mark anyway so going getting 40 of these here on top of the 55 you're getting from the vip spending not even including if you hit any lucky ones here uh technically that means you only need 70 boxes and you only have to go down to this point right here and that will get you the essence sublimation um if you do want to go further down to 250 this is where you're going to need to go pretty much all in and spend about 100 bucks so 100 dollars with the relays 55 spend another 45 you're essentially going to get down to here uh because that means you will be able to get the full 100 out of here and honestly uh yeah it's pretty it's pretty good that's you're gonna need to probably get one of the shelter heroes as well but that'll give you two of the essence sublimation chests, which is probably what we're gonna do on our account uh if you want to go further just know it's pretty much like 200 dollars beyond that to get the next one and then another 100 to get one more and then another 100 to get two more so you can see how this kind of like yeah <laughs> it's pretty much straight money on this one once you get past like this point here so hopefully you guys enjoy this one again all those breakdowns are in the description let me know you guys think pretty solid event though if you've been saving up contract starry gems and even better if you're just going to spend a little bit this week i say a little bit it's still like mid spender territory of like 55 usd but not too bad hopefully you guys get your b copies hopefully you high roll if you want me to open them on stream this weekend let me know because we might do that as well i'll see you guys next time